In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to export an extension in GDevelop so that you can import that extension into your own game. And this is a super quick and easy thing to do. So let's get started by opening GDevelop. And while that's loading up, I'm also going to make a folder on my desktop to put my extension. I'm going to hit Control Shift N and it's going to make a new folder. I'm going to name this folder Isometry. And that is the name of the extension that I'll be using in this example. So I'm going to open this folder up and I'm just going to copy this path. And now GDevelop should be done opening. So we're going to come to the sidebar right here where you see uh, these options and we're going to select learn. And we're going to come to this examples card right here and we're going to hit examples. And the name of the example I want to open is called City Builder, so I'll type CIT. And of the City Builder options that come up, I want this one right here. The one by D8H, we're going to open that. I'm just going to create that random project to get the uh, extension open. And let's look at our extensions. This is the one we're going to use in this example right here. We're going to extract, we're going to export this extension to our desktop and we're going to use this extension in our own project. And I will say I don't know if this works on the web version of GDevelop because um, I'm not sure if the export option is even in that version. So I'm using the, the app and it does work on the in the app. So. Um, and what this isometry extension is, um, it's a really nice extension if you're making an isometric game. For instance, if you go to the game events, you can see that it has a snap to an isometric grid action that it adds. If you search, you'll see snap, S-N-A-P, snap objects to an isometric virtual grid. So that's, that's actually what I usually use this extension for. It does have a behavior it also brings to your game. If we come over here, I'll just select this object and I'll go to the behaviors tab, add a behavior. And if you look at the bottom of the list, um, right here, isometric slope, objects passing by the slope will appear to move up or down using the follow action. So that's a behavior that this extension will also add to your game. Now I haven't used that so I'm not sure exactly what that does, but um, like if you came into your actions, you could search for slope and you would get make objects follow slope and you could also search for follow and make objects follow slope, same thing. Okay, so um, this is a really nice extension to have if you're interested in making isometric games, especially like for me, the grid-based isometric games um, because it allows you to snap to an isometric grid and I don't know if there's an option to do that unless you do get this extension but the problem is if you go to create or search for new extensions and if you search for that extension it doesn't pull up it's not added to this list and I know it's okay for us to export this extension and use it in our own projects because if it wasn't it would not be included in the GDevelop examples. GDevelop only includes things that it's all right for us to use in our own projects if we wanted. So all the game in, games in GDevelop examples, if we wanted to just use that logic and expand it to our own projects, we could. So I know it is all right to export this and use it in your own project. Um, so naturally, you know, if this was something someone else had made, you would have to ask permission but since this is something included in the GDevelop examples, this is all right for us to do. So we can see if we wanted to snap things to an isometric grid, it's not pulling up here. We can just open that project like I did and come over to this panel and we're going to hit isometry. And it's going to open that extension in our editor right here. And so we're going to come to this option where it says ex um, edit extension options. We're going to click that. And when this page opens, you'll notice at the bottom, there's an option to export extension. So we're going to click that. And this little uh, selection here will go to export to a file. And it's going to open that. So now 
we're just going to go ahead. I'm just going to go to the folder I just made. And when I'm in that folder, I'm going to go ahead and hit isometry. It's already there. Save. And so now I can probably just hit Control W to close that project out because I don't need it anymore. And if you just look in that folder that I just made right there, you'll see this little file. And that is our extension. So now let's see how we can import this extension into our own game so that we can also use that little snap to isometric grid or the slope uh, behavior. So back in GDevelop, we'll just go ahead and hit alt Control n and it's just going to open up a new project for us to create. And I'm just going to call this one Tutorial. And we'll just save it wherever it is um, because I'm not picky since I'm not going to be keeping this. We'll choose that folder. We'll create the project. So now if we come over to where our extensions is, where it says create or search for new extension, we're going to go ahead and click that. And instead of searching for it up here, since we know it's not there anyway, we'll just come down to this bottom right here where it says import extension. And we'll click that. And now, um, like if it wasn't already up there, you could just go to the path where you had it. So mine was on my desktop in the isometry folder. And now I'm going to open that up. And now you're going to see this is included in our own extension. So now we can snap things to our isometric grid or we can um, use that behavior we saw earlier. And this is actually also useful if you like making your own extensions, which I haven't tried yet. But if you do like it, you can easily export your own extensions into another project or you know onto your desktop and import that into another project. So it's just a super quick, uh, easy thing to do in GDevelop. But I know when, when I first uh, found this extension and I wanted it in my own project, I didn't know how to do it. And it did take a little Googling, so that's why I thought I'd make this quick tutorial uh, just to show how it's done.